Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to a lip swatch video. So it all started with my just perusing the Flower Beauty's website and I just stumbled upon some brand new releases. So I ended up getting this new lip product which is called Powder Play Lip Color. So this is basically a powder. I don't know if you can see, this is not a cream, not a whipped mousse, it's actually just powder. I can see this powder moving in in here i don't know if you can see it i don't know can you see it it's actually just powder inside so i was very intrigued so i ended up getting that one color it's in the shade cheeky and then there was another brand new release called bitten lip stain so i got it in the shade saucy a red color but what happened was I loved this guy so so much that I went ahead and got the entire collection. Yes, I have the entire Bitten Lip Stain collection to swatch and show you guys how it looks and compare it with my other good like I think very very good lip stains on the market like moisturizing lip stains on the market is YSL Tatouage Couture Lip Stain and then uh the bonjour creamy lip stain these two i really 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 this one is like mini that i got so i really really like these two a lot so i wanted to compare them with the flower beauty's bitten lip stain like the battle of the brands and tell you guys which one is really good in addition to that i also completed my flower pots uh blush collection i had the other four which are being sold on sephora i'm uh, sorry ulta's website but this guy is actually um what's that word exclusive to flower beauty's website so i ended up getting this i was lucky because this one guy is always always sold out so i ended up getting that so that is it before we start i want to say that i kind of filmed this video for like seven minutes long and then i realized i had like a technical difficulty so you can see like i have like swatches of the stain so my lips are slightly stained already but Look at that it's lightly stained from the lightest shades these three are the lightest shades but so i'm sorry about that but you guys will get a like a really really honest review of what the products are don't worry about that but yeah there's a little bit of a glitch there in the video but i'm so sorry about that but you know how what this color will look like on my skin tone um because i'm going to swatch it and everything and swatch in a different spot I have kind of arranged the colors from the lightest to the darkest and yes that's so we're going to start from the lightest and then we're going to move to the darkest color this is sass which is like a very 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 blue toned pink and look at that it's actually kind of on the milkier side this kind of if you look at it in a certain angle, it kind of looks plum, but it's actually a very kind of milky blue toned pink. It's a very pale pink. It's a definite no-no for a dark skin, but I still picked it up because I thought I could just use it as an ombre look, you know? And as you can see, it definitely has that white look to it. <laughs> Hang on, let me apply another layer. You can see it has this milky kind of a look going on. So just FYI, there's that. But we will talk about um, the positives and the negatives. So definitely don't worry because there are positives and negatives for sure. So next lighter shade is Koi. So this is like a peachy shade. Look at that it's peachy it's light and as you can see it also has this milky kind of base to it and as you can see it has this ashy look on my lips and my lips are actually pretty dark they're kind of a dark brown color so yeah there's that as well if you have like lighter lips look at that it has this milky kind of look going on so if you have lighter lips maybe this might look different i have no idea what this will look on a lighter lips and then we are those two are the light shades light light shades and then this is the shade sweet it's like i know it looks kind of um like a coral shade but it's very kind of pinky coral very pretty right
I stopped when I've uh, recorded the first time this is I stopped with this shade and this color is what is caused that red stain this one is actually dark but it's not that dark I don't know if you can see this also has that little that hint of uh, ashiness kind of looks ashy on my lips I don't know if you can see it I can see it in my lips and it is just standing out it's just standing out especially it's settling the lines of the lips when it's settling the lines of the lips it has that milky white line just FYI that's one of the downsides I thought I'd save it to the end but things are just like coming out then this is play now this is where we are stepping into true dark shades shades that truly made for dark skin look at that 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 reddish plum it's like a beautiful plum guys look at that very very nice this color is something that truly does not have any kind of a white base or it's this is not a light color this is actually definitely on the darker side and even when it's sinking in the lips a little in the lines of the lips it doesn't look white it doesn't look white at all so that is like a plum color as you can see it's pretty it's a the i think the um, the the thing that really saved with this color is that it has a brown base do you see that it's brown and so when it sinks in the lines of my brown lips it doesn't really stand out it just like kind of blends with my lip color itself look at that look at the stain <laughs> and then we have and i had it on only what for five seconds each shade so yes this is tempt it's like a brick red okay that's like a true red so that's good This is Tempt, very pretty, it just looks, it's so easy to put this on, for some reason it won't close, now it did. So that is Tempt, and final shade is the darkest red, honestly it, oh something on my teeth, it's described as like a red but it looks very pink, it's like very raspberry pink. I don't know it's so pink and it's so pigmented I've used this at least five times now okay guys let's quickly talk about the, the lip stains and then we gotta also move on to the comparison and then we gotta move on to this Okay, so we have some few things to talk about. Let's talk about um, all of them together. So we have three truly dark shades. These three, right? The brown plum shade, the brick red, and then the true red. These three are the true dark shades that does not have any kind of a milky white kind of a base to it. So when it kind of settles, because this is a stain, so it's kind of is kind. It's definitely kind of runny. It's not thick at all, so it does settle in the lines of the lips for sure. But when it's a darker shade, when it settles in the lines of the lips, it doesn't look odd at all. It kind of kind. Uh, kind of evens out your lips and look it's it does settle in the lines of the lips but you don't even see it right it is a thin formula so it is going to settle in the lines of the lips don't there's no question about it so the dark shades look awesome but the I kind of miscalculated I thought that the lighter shades even though I knew these were so so light but I kind of miscalculated and I thought maybe you could just like apply it in the center of the lips right no it's no please do not do that if you have even if you have like lighter skin all over and if your lips are kind of dark these colors are not going to look good because like i said they settle in the lines of the lips and that white ashy base kind of stands out 
the lip line when you smile or if, if, even without smiling you can see lines of that ashy milky whiteness in the lines of the lips and it does not go away at all the light colors are actually a big no-no are completely unsuitable for dark skin actually so i would say stay away from light colors uh definitely if you have dark skin definitely pick up these three the plum color and the brick red and the true red this one is was kind of misleading i really like that sweet color but it had that mild ashiness to it so if your lips are kind of on the pinkier side i would say go for it even if your an entire skin tone is kind of on the darker side because if you, you i mean people with dark skin can i mean do have pink lips right i don't have pink lips but i've seen people with dark skin have pink lips so if your lips are kind of pinky and and on the lighter side i would say go for even the lighter colors they're not going to look that bad i feel i don't know guys don't take my word for it <laughs> i'm just i'm just like guessing but um the sweet color the coral shade actually was quite nice it's kind of like a medium shade but i feel it does have this kind of like a mild ashiness going on and, and the fact that my lips are like dark brown color doesn't really help so for me i'm not very comfortable wearing this shade sweet either i might put it on but i feel i'd be very insecure like i would want to like check my mirror how is it how is it is it look ashy is it looking ashy it's like does it have like white lines in my lips do i look awful so i'd be like very very i don't know insecure about it so i'd probably stay away from that color but with these three I would be carefree or just be enjoying and I'd be like so confident about the way my lips look. So yes, there's that. Now the biggest, now let's talk about, these are like my color preferences and my like um, what I think, which skin tones it might suit. Let's talk about the performance. Oh my God, the formula is amazing. Let me do a kiss test. Nothing, right? And this is such a dark color. We applied like a true red look at that look at that this oh my god the stain is a real real stain and i'm not like i i put it on and i was talking for easy like three minutes you do not have to wait for three minutes the stain sets in seconds the stain sets in seconds I'm like I was I'm telling you that's why I went ahead and bought the entire collection there is a reason behind it I was so blown away it's incredible let's just swatch like here I just touched this nothing and then let's touch this color nothing let's touch the plum color and swatch here nothing look at that i'm serious let's touch the sweet shade coral shade nothing let's touch the tint absolutely nothing i'm telling you oh wait there's a little bit stuck to my hand but still i really wanted to show you guys how awesome these stains are the formula is top notch just unbeatable i have not and okay that's the performance let's talk about how comfortable it is because a lot of stains in the market that end up, end up bleeding like leave your lips bleeding this is incredibly incredibly moisturizing when i was watching did you see that little like glossy like layer this gloss actually stays on the lips even when you like there's still a little bit of glossiness stuck on my lips i did like two kiss tests right and still there's this glossiness stuck on my lips. still there's this glossiness doesn't exactly leave your lips and i have tested eating and drinking the lip stain actually stays through it i'm t i believe maybe one meal i think i tested out for one meal this uh the red shade the sass the the darkest uh, true red shade awesome incredible guys okay let's quickly compare it with this guy i'm not going to put it on my lips uh but i know how this works because i've used it so many times so this is from bomb jour this is actually actually very similar close to how it performs uh because this is kind of a, like a gloss 
this is uh, kind of thicker than the Flower Beauty's lip stain. The, the lip stain is kind of on the runnier side, as you can, as you see. It's kind of like thin. This is kind of more thicker, but it kind of takes few seconds for it to set. Actually, I would say few minutes. This one takes the Bomb Jour takes few minutes for the that um, soft, cushiony, glossy consistency to kind of set on your lips, and then it becomes slightly tacky. So. And then even after that, I would say there is transfer, but the stain is there. After a little bit of transfer, I would say, see, there is a transfer, there is transfer. There is definitely transfer, but let me just transfer it off. Transfer the excess, but do you see the stain is there? The stain is still there, but it transfers. This guy does not budge does not budge doesn't budge doesn't budge wait a little bit does not budge i'm telling you this is just out of this world formula this is just like unbelievable i'm telling you it's so great let's talk about the um what's this tattooage couture i love this color though such a vibrant orangey red i use this color all the time guys hit the smell it's like an alcohol mixed in with the rose so this guy again i would say it's a little drying this is like the most drying out of the three this is the most moisturizing and the most long lasting it's like a best of both worlds the flower beauty one while this is kind of drying and it also lasts but like i said it's, it's kind of drying and yeah and again it takes time for it to set so we're gonna have to like wait some time i think maybe you'll just do a test see there's a little bit of transfer but this transfer but the stain is there the transfer but the stain is there so that's basically how i would compare it uh with respect to moisturization and longevity flower beauty just wins wins by a very very large margin <laughs> it just like it's like way ahead number two and number three are like somewhere very very far away this is just like so amazing i'm telling you i was blown away so okay let's talk about this product and why i just stopped with just one maybe i should take this off take this off and it is not coming off it is not coming off i use the wet wipe do you see how little came off this the this is what i did when i was trying to take it off and very little came off and the stain is just it's there look at that it's just like i have lipstick on so awesome okay let's anyways we're going to put this on top of that i don't care so cheeky this is in the color cheeky i was like again when i first applied this product on my skin i was blown away but after putting it on my lips i was still blown away but after a few minutes i was like i do not want this on my lips this is powder as you can see look at that magic look at that magic when it touches the skin it oh my gosh the powder just kind of like fell off i don't know if you can see but when it touches the skin it kind of um this it kind of turns cool i feel this product is kind of cool on the lips kind of turns cool and look at that application is really really good i love the color i love the fact how a powder actually changes into like a lipstick in within like seconds not even seconds i feel let, let me show show it to you i have powder on my lips i mean wand sorry hang on what's happening maybe i don't have enough i need more okay yeah you can see that it's more uh, purple as you can see Some more purple as you can see the application is actually pretty even 
and we're going to leave this on for a few minutes and you will see what the problem is it's very obvious you don't even need me to explain it to you you don't even need me to explain to you I, there's no uh, I'm, me sitting here is actually except to show you what it looks like it's kind of pointless but okay but do we want to just be sitting here so let me just like put this on and leave it here and let, let, let me just explain it to you anyways so the problem is it goes on beautifully and it's actually very cooling i don't know why it actually stays cool my lips stay cool it's really good and the application is smooth and it is transferring it's no it's not a transfer proof product it's actually kind of creamy to touch kind of like a cream lipstick so all that is there but as you can see the color is completely different from what you see it kind of turns reddish so it's kind of oxidizes and it's not like an orchid color as you can see so that is that there's that but when you touch it goes on well and also the application is very smooth it's not like powdery it's not messy it's pretty pigmented the problem is i don't know how if it's already formed or not certain areas actually kind of get wet and certain spots in my lips kind of stay dry so i don't know if you can see there's this area in the upper lip where it's kind of a little texture the texture is a little different but in the lower lip it looks it's a little different the upper lip is it's a little more purple lower lip is a little bit more not purple maybe it takes some time for it to like dry and kind of you for you to say the difference but it happens after i put this on like say an hour or so i would not say an hour like 30 minutes or so i started to see patches on my lip on my lips where it was light purple and the rest of the lips was like a reddish radish color like what you see and the other spots it was like spots where i was seeing like different colors and it wasn't like setting on my lips evenly i think that's a problem the product does not set on my lips evenly i don't know i, I just didn't like it and this is drying being a powder lipstick it is drying i don't know why you don't i don't know you, you don't see it very distinctly now but i used it twice or thrice and the same problem every single time so i would not be re repurchasing that powder play lipstick and uh what else it is drying for sure no question about it it is drying and this guy while this guy is not drying as you can see it has this glossy layer the glossy layer that actually stays put it actually doesn't really I, I, I don't know if you like drink and eat a lot the glossiness like goes away completely but it actually stays for a really long time it's not bad it's really good anyways i think we should that's the problem with that powder lipstick guys it kind of like doesn't set evenly on the lips when you apply it it goes on evenly and then it kind of like patches where it's not even which kind of results in a different color <laughs> in each like tiny tiny areas i have like a different color of lipstick i didn't like it so let's swatch the all the blushes because we are here so let's just swatch the blushes that is the darkest one which is in the shade um what is this um what is this color hang on oh god i'm just like lost in this sea of words i will oh wait wait, wait. it's berry more <laughs> this is berry more okay i'm my lips are feeling dry super dry and i do not want to keep this on longer it is really really hard i hate putting wipes on my lips so i'm just going to put something nice and comfortable let's just put the lipstick that i initially put on and they were like duos so let me just put it on quickly from bite beauty they're something lip crayon i don't remember these are pretty creamy and really really nice they're not as creamy as your muse push lipsticks but really creamy i'm going to use another color in the center
brown is my like safe color it's like something i don't even have to think about something that goes well with literally every color so did you hear that my kids are being noisy <laughs> So that is okay. Now I feel comfortable. Now my f lips feel really good. So berry more. That that was that. I'm really happy. I got that color, and this is peach primrose. That is a peach primrose. And that is that oh beautiful pink. This is wild rose, very 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 pink. Very pink, very very cool pink. Do another layer of peach primrose. It's a very pretty color actually. And then we'll do sweet pea. I gotta say, I'm just <laughs> going away from these dusty pink colors. <laughs> just like definitely not favoring them nowadays. Then we have hibiscus, warm hibiscus. This is so pretty on the cheeks, but when I swatch, it just doesn't do justice at all. I hate it. It's very very pretty that's what it looks like it's such a pretty color hated that you don't see how pretty that is you can definitely use this as a highlighter for sure on lights under on dark skin I mean I believe those are the highlighter uh, sorry those are the blushes those those are all the blushes that we have so we basically covered everything oh by the way no 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 we i also ended up getting this um eyebrow pencil it's i really like how this brush is actually so gentle and not abrasive at all a lot of these uh brushes or spoolie that comes with uh you know with eyebrow products it kind of like hurts your skin when you kind of like really dig in and really comb this is so soft i love this bristle kind of thing it's really nice and then this is the darkest shade color and look at that it's not even the color of my hair it's not it's not a dark it's a dark brown but i can get away with it i'm sure a lot of people with dark skin can get away with it but it's not exact it's not the right color and it's very 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 thin look at that it's very thin and it's pretty precise but i'm just saying it's not like it's not the right color so yeah those are all the stuff that i wanted to discuss we discuss these the bitten lip stain definitely pick at least one up i i beg you that's how amazing it is i want everybody to at least experience this once it's really 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 good guys the bitten lip stain is awesome i would say if you have darker lips stick with the darker colors like the plum i think play tempt and sassy yeah sassy play tempt and sassy stick with these three colors the lighter colors have like a white base milky base to them and when they s settle in the lips that milky base doesn't exactly go it doesn't wear off and you can see that white uh milky base settled in the lines of the lips and i would say I, I well i'm saying no to these colors to be honest i would just stick with these three and if you have a lighter like lips or lighter or pinkier lips i would say try them out Tr try the lighter colors too i i don't know maybe they would work well uh, on pinky lips on redder lips but for me it was just not working out just these three and this guy i don't know i was just not a big fan it was actually pretty drying after a while and like i said it kind of did not set evenly uh certain areas in my lips was dry and kind of lighter and certain areas in my lips was like wet and darker like this kind of raspberry shade and it was just i don't know i, I just didn't like it it wasn't working out for me i don't know i feel i can't 
trust that lip product you know i have i i, I would be i would be kind of like uh worried about how what my lips looks like if i put that on so no to that and the blushes are awesome and i really like this the berry more is not very purple it's very reddish pinky reddish it's really good and uh, yeah that's basically what and oh wait we also compared with the other lip stains uh, so yeah that's basically what we spoke about and hope you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and also subscribe i know it was a long video but we had a lot of things to talk about so i will see you guys very soon Bye bye